Hevron, my name is Merlin, and in this video we're going to have a look at QWARA, a technique that allows you to fine-tune large language models on a single GPU while preserving the model's performance. How can you do that? Let's find out. To understand how QWARA is working, we are going to have a look at the original idea called Just Wara, and this is a paper introduced by Microsoft Research during 2021, and it's called Wara, Warang Adaptation of Large Language Models. So the idea of this paper is that you can fine tune a large language model by freezing its weights and then introducing some additional parameters which you can fine tune and then combine both of those parameters and get your final output. So in order to better understand this, the authors from Hugging Face have made this very nice animation. And this is the basic idea of Wara. You have the pre-trained weights. So for example, you might think that you have something like Wama in here. And then you're introducing two additional matrices, which are somewhat special. And then you are just fine tuning this part of the model right here, but not the left part. So uh, by adding or doing the multiplication of the matrices, then you're combining the outputs of both and then you're getting your hidden output layers at the end. So this is the basic idea. And the authors from the paper are uh, saying that it is very hard to fine tune such large models such as GPT-3, which had 175 billion parameters at the time. And then uh, you can't really do anything about those large models since it's not very easy to fine tune them. And another thing that you can do is to essentially reduce the number of trainable parameters using Quora. And in this case, this is more than 10,000 times. And also, you're also reducing the GPU memory requirement by three times, at least in this example. The authors are doing a lot of explanation of how this all works, and I'm going to link this paper into the description of this video. The QWARA paper called Efficient Fine Tuning of Quantized Large Language Models is very new and it is provided by researchers from University of Washington. And here they are presenting a technique that is an upgrade on top of the WARA or the initial WARA idea. And they are just quantizing the large language models even further, so reducing the their size into four bits in this example. And then they are showing that their technique is actually increasing or reducing the fine tuning time, decreasing the inference time, and still keeps the results the same. And with such new technique or fine tuning those large language models, you can use larger data sets and train just on a single GPU. So in this example, they're talking that you can fine tune a 65 billion parameter model on a single 48 gigabytes of VRAM GPU, and then you're preserving the performance of full 16-bit fine-tuning. This is great. Another thing that the authors are doing is to introduce a new model called Guanaco. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this correctly. And they say that this outperforms all previously openly released models on the Vicuno benchmark. And then they're saying that there are getting ChatGPT level of performance about 99.3%. So this is another great achievement by just fine tuning on 24, for 24 hours on a single GPU. And these are the basic or these are the most important contributions of this paper. 4-bit normal float, which is essentially the type that the models are stored in. Then double quantization. So this is done in order to reduce the model size even further and you can fit even larger models into a GPU or a standard GPU, and then paged optimizers, which are something that NVIDIA is providing in order to make training these types of models even easier or faster. And the idea here is that you can pass in from the GPU to the CPU some types of memory blocks if your GPU is out of memory. And they have a nice illustration on the bottom pages of this paper. And then 
their results are showing that Q or fine tuning on a small high quality data set leads to state of the art results, even when using smaller models than the previous state of the art models. So the authors have done a very large benchmark. And so we can see that the actual results of this type of model is very good. And here you can see the results provided by GPT-4. So they're trying to evaluate the model responses. And you can see that GPT-4 is on top, but then the Guanaku models are second and third. Then you have Vicuna, ChatGPT, Guanaku 13 billion parameters and Guanaku 7 billion parameters. And you can see that BART is right here, which is a very poor performance according to GPT-4. Next, I'm going to show you a bit more about the paper. And you can see that uh, this is the pretty much the comparison between Wara and QWARA. You have this, this 16 bit transformer, which was the base model. And now you have this four bit transformer in order to get a lot more parameters into the GPU. So this is a really huge compression compared to the original war idea. And then this is the parameter updates and then the paging flow, which is essentially the part that NVIDIA is doing or helping in order to get the GPU and CPU memory. They're talking about how they're doing the quantization here. And then they're talking about the war rank adapters or WARA in a nutshell. Uh, the other important thing that I want to show you is, yeah, this is the part of the paged optimizers, NVIDIA unified memory, something that looks pretty similar to what Apple is doing with their M1 and M2 chips. So you can essentially get the memory to run on the CPU and the GPU. So they have a lot of comparisons here, and this is the table that I wanted to show you. So they're talking about this type of fine tuning with QWARA. You can basically replicate the results of WARA with full 16-bit training, which is amazing. That's, this is a huge saving compared to what you can do before. They're talking more about the type and it hit, yeah, it hit a lot of, a bit more, a lot of, uh, yeah, larger table. I think this is the one that I wanted to show you. So you have human raters on Vicuna 80 uh, prompts or benchmark. Then you have GPT-4 and then you have Open Assistant benchmark with uh, these many prompts. And this is again ranked by GPT-4. You can see that human raters are rating GPT-4 responses the best. And this is both according to human raters and GPT-4 raters. And then Guanaco 65 billion parameter model is performing consistently at the second place. So this is great, uh, but not actually not here. Here uh, GPT or chat GPT is beating Guanaco 65 billion, but still very close. And then you have Vicuna and you can see that BART is performing really, really badly. I mean, yeah, that's that's strange, but those benchmarks show you that BART is not that great yet. Maybe in the future, maybe. All right, so the QWARA paper also introduced this repository, which contains a lot of code and then a lot of examples on how you can fine tune your models using Q QWARA. And I'm not going to go over through all of the details, but here is a way that you can do the loading of the model in 4-bit precision using the Transformers library. You need the master branch at the time, at the current time. And then you're using bits and bytes library in order to, again, load in 4-bit to use double quantization, which is the compression that you get. And then the special quantization type, in this case, float 4, normalized 4-4. Four, four. And then this is the compute type, uh, which is still going to be a 16-bit. 
So they're having a lot of fine tuning tutorials here, but the next important part, which where I get this animation, from which I got this animation is this hugging face post, making LMs even more accessible with bits and bytes and four bit quantization and QWARA. This is a really nice read and I've pretty much followed most of the part here. And there you have again another example on how you can load the transformer models. In this case, there are loading, I believe, Facebook, some of the Facebook's open source models. You can use this on a lot of models actually. So here are all of the supported models that you can train with or fine tune with QWARA, which is really great. And they have a leaderboard right here along with additional information. The final thing that I want to show you is this demo, which shows how you can load the pre-trained model, which is Guanaco, and then you can use it in order to do some inference right here within a Google Co-op application. You might want to have a look at this. And finally, this is the Guanaco playground where you can go and ask stuff or chat with the model. So let's say, what is the meaning of life? And you can see that the model is responding very quickly. I'm not sure how this is hosted, but this is the 33 billion parameter models, which is great. And the responses, at least from what I've tried, are pretty good. I mean, they might even be better than ChatGPT. And again, this is from a free model, which is great. This is it for this video. We took a look at Wara, the original idea of fine tuning large language models, and then the newer version or the upgrade of that, QWARA, which introduces quantization in order to save even what more space and allows you to train 65 billion parameters using just a single GPU with 48 gigabytes of VRAM. And in the next video, we are going to try QWARA in order to fine tune a large language model on a custom dataset. So please stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Also, join the Discord that I'm going to link down into the description below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.